Sorry, there are 11 here in business. And this was part of the, the, the party. I'm very lucky to have a very beautiful wife. This is her on the left hand side here. Her name's Amanda. And she obviously is the person I'm speaking about who started Shay Shays. And this was part of the celebration to celebrate 10 years in business and influence in Brighton. When you go to many different places, you, you, you often seek information. And one of the best places to get information about the community that you're in is in your local hairdressers or your local barbershop. If you ever need to know any information, go to your local hairdressers or barbershop when you, when you visit a city. And if they don't know anything, then nobody else does because that's where a lot of information, a lot of community ideas are present. You'll recognise some of the faces that are in these photographs, i.e. Sarah, Naomi, who I'm sure you'll visit at some point. And where do, uh, where you might think, what's the connection with the community and, and what we actually strive to do now? Well, from the community came an idea one of my passions, I'm lucky like most people, is, is football uh, as a man. But I notice in South Africa that women are into football just as much as men. So a large percentage of the clientele that comes to the shop are men, and from that came this inclination to start a football team. Initially it was only to, to satisfy men's ambition to play sport. But from starting a football team have come many, many ideas, many, many different ideas. And the ideas have come from getting a group of people together and sharing their ideas and ambitions and experiences, and from that developing different projects that we've been able to embark on. So one of the projects that which um, Beatrice will give you a little bit more idea about is the, age, the fight against HIV, basically. Working with predominantly men, young men in their 20s and 30s, it was a, we found it was an ideal platform for us to transfer a positive message regarding awareness of HIV. Now, unfortunately, in this country, many people feel that HIV is not a problem in, in England, but it's a, it's a massive problem here, as it, as it is all around the world. You guys are probably more focused and more n um, informed about the disease and how to protect yourself and how to carry out safe practice than anybody walking the streets here, even though apparently we're less prone to it, it's not the case at all. And as speeches will inform you later on, second to the uh, homosexual community, the black and African community are most at risk at the moment with HIV. So how do we get a bunch of guys that are only interested in football to suddenly embark on carrying out safe practice and transferring that information to their own networks, their own communities, which is something we've tried to do.